Well, so, Congressman Kinzinger, you've been outspoken about the president's conduct. You've said that the 25th Amendment should be invoked. You've encouraged the vice president to lead that effort. Will you vote for an impeachment resolution? Look, I'll, I'll vote the right way when it's when you know whatever's put in front of me. Uh, there's uh, there's a lot of still negotiation going on. I honestly don't think impeachment's the smart move because I think it victimizes Donald Trump again. And I think there's a moment that we're in right now where Donald Trump uh, he's looking really, I mean, bad. It's, you just can't even put that into words, right? He he stirred up a crowd. It was an executive branch attack on the legislative branch, one of the worst days in American history. So I'll vote the right way, you know, if I'm presented with that. I just think it's probably not the smartest move right now, but I think that's gonna be out of my hands. So, but I mean, what about the argument that the Congressman has make? I assume that when you say you vote the right way, is if you're presented with it, you do consider this an impeachable offense, you would vote for it, but it's not the preferred course. What are the alternatives when you're facing conduct like this by a president of the United States? Well, I think it would be the right move if we had more than basically 10 days left of the administration, right? I mean, the fact that you had mentioned we're not going to be able to even get through a trial. So, yeah, he'll be impeached a second time, but also exonerated in theory a second time. Uh, it depends on how that trial goes, if they can do it when he's out of office, all that. Uh, I think there's a lot of ideas with censure, with preventing him from being able to run again. Uh, you know, the reality is we just don't have a lot of time in this administration left, which right now is a good thing. Uh, but, uh, I mean, it, I, I think what, what bothers me probably more than anything is I think as the dust settles, maybe it's settling in, I, I don't know, but what happened was unprecedented on January 6th, and hopefully nothing like that will ever happen again. But I think we were very close, as, as uh, Ms. Ocasio-Cortez said uh, just now. I think we were very close to actually having members of Congress killed. I mean, if you see the videos and you see, you know, based that last line of defense between the floor of the House of Representatives where members were hunkered down and the young lady that came through the window, ha had that whole thing been breached, I mean, there would have been people in a, in a really bad, really bad shape. So this is, uh, we were blessed on the one hand to not lose any members of Congress, but we lost five people and it's disgusting. Boy, Congressman, no question about that. And the more we learn, the more horrifying it seems to have been inside the Capitol and the entire Capitol complex. So then how do you explain why more of your fellow Republican members of Congress, more of your fellow Republican uh, senators have not come forward and said simply, President Trump must go, President Trump must resign? Everybody's got their own decisions. I think a lot of it is fear. Um, you know, there is fear that infects so many sides of the debate right now, right? The, the people that have been radicalized are fearful of, you know, a Satanist underground government, which QAnon preaches. Some on the left are fearful, probably very rightfully so, of some of those on the right. And, uh, and then when it comes to members of Congress, they're fearful of the reelection. They're fearful for their safety. I mean, the number of death threats that have been thrown out against people like me and, frankly, every member of Congress. Look at Look at Vice President Pence, one of the most faithful guys to Donald Trump, is now public enemy number one in Trump world. And, uh, and so I think that's what it comes down to. But if you're going to be fearful, just my humble opinion, if you're going to be fearful in this job, uh, it may not be the right job for you at this moment in time. Is the best alternative right now for the president to simply go to resign before his term finishes? I think the best thing would, for the country to heal would be for him to resign. The next best thing is the 25th Amendment. And that's why I call on Vice President Pence to do it. This is, this is the thing that just gets this out of the debate in Congress. It doesn't victimize Donald Trump. It makes him look as bad as he has been here and, uh, and its leadership. Look, you know, we ask young men and young women to give their lives for this country every day. And we, we give emotional speeches about it as we rightfully should. We have to be willing to give our careers to do the right thing when it's something so egregious as we're facing like we have been in this last week. Congressman, thanks for your time this morning.